Hi to Resolute Crushers, hope you're doing well. How many times have you been in that place where you just like, it is three more days to go into this house and I just cannot do it any longer. I am just gonna eat it, the Lord will understand. I just need to eat something and just release myself and just be good because this is too much. I can relate, okay, I can relate. Um, I think we've all been there where we just start fast, we start off motivated, we start off, you know, like anything else in life, like whether it's a diet or something, you just like, you start off very motivated and you start it and then you're good for the first two days and then coming to the third day, you're like, listen, why did I ever get myself into this? That's why this video is good for you, okay? We are going to discuss how to not break your fast early, okay? Because fasting like any other thing else or better than anything else is something that has to do with your spiritual growth your spiritual activity something that connects your spiritual blessing and your spiritual breakthrough so in this video i'm going to show you some of the nuggets and some of the tips that help me not break my fast early number one you have to have a focus on why you conducted the fast in the first place you must have a strong conviction and reason for that fast and that thing will have to be your focus no matter what okay whether it is spiritual warfare if there is something in your life that you know is not of God that you know needs to be broken and has set you back over and over again has brought you pain over and over again you will have to know that you are contending you are contending that this hunger pangs this distraction this thing want you to just relax and give up see it as warfare see it as that thing is trying to throw you off the tracks and have you give up on the fast and therefore give up on a spiritual contention and have them prevail god forbid okay so number one is focus why are you fasting what is the fast for and keep that focus in mind number two limit distractions okay during the time of fasting yes you are depriving yourself of food however you also have to create the environment that will enable you to pray more to study the word more to hear the lord better clearer stronger to receive vision to receive encounters and impartation if you do not create an environment for that you are you are 99 doomed to break your fast early if you do not create an environment of less distractions that means if that means for you to delete certain apps off your phone delete certain apps off your phone if that means putting your phone off at a certain time switch that phone off if that means having to leave the living room where everybody's watching certain program to go into your closet and just have a time of prayer and quietness do that you have to create that environment number three you have to make time for prayer and meditation intentionally create time whether that is setting time apart within the day if you say okay mornings are work very well for me because maybe in the morning it is quiet Take that time to, as in meditation time and prayer time. If it's evening, it's evening. If it's midday, it's midday. But find that extra time within your time. You cannot neglect prayer, meditation in the time of fasting because that will forfeit the entire fasting. It is not just about the food, but it's about your spiritual connection connectivity during that time next you have to be intentional about the content you consume you have to be very intentional about what you let through your eye gates and ear gates during that time if you were someone who would just you know leave the house and just put the radio on and have it at any channel and just go and have all kinds of content just bombard your mind that is not advisable purposely put on worship music purposely put on meditation music purposely put on your audible bible put on audible preaching listen to podcasts listen, listen to youtubers who are faith based who will provide you with the pure word of god who will feed you spiritually even as you're going along even helping you meditate throughout the day to keep your mind 
um, on the things of God constantly. You know, the word says meditate on his word day and night. That means it's something that's meant to be keep lingering, going over your mind as you fill your spirit and fill your soul because that's, that is when it actually becomes alive in you. When you meditate on it, you chew on it. It's like food that you're digesting, but it's spiritual food that you're digesting now. It is no longer you actually feeding your physical body but you're feeding your spiritual body so i hope this video was helpful guys and gave you some nuggets on how to not break your fast you know early and if you guys want to follow me i'm currently doing a 21 day fast myself and i have actually created a video showing you a day in my life in my 21 day fast and in that video i do actually show you you know what i do in the morning how i pray how i meditate how i set up my day and even how i break my fast and go through that day of fasting and if that's something you want to see do check it out and i'll see you over there